Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Let's make our own homemade spiced palm oil known as Zomi. If this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Now, first of all, we will need our palm nut concentrate. And I'm using three tins here. So I'm transferring that into a saucepan. And I'll be cooking this on that medium to low heat. Because this whole process is to extract the palm oil from the concentrate. Next thing is I'll carefully add about two and a half liters of water. Now, do not worry, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements in the description box below for your convenience. And of course, I need to mix all of this together until it's well combined. So after I've achieved that beautiful, smoothy, silky consistency, I can now concentrate on the flavors, and that is where I love to be. So of course, I've added my precursor, which is the Eden fruit, absolutely sweet in its nature. And here I'm adding the calabash, the African calabash nutmeg, which also would give this dish the sweetness. I've got cloves that's going to offer this the warmth that it so requires. And of course, I need to add some salt to taste. So I'm going to add three habanero chilies, as you can tell here, for that aromatic little kick. And allow this to simmer for about 35 minutes. Once I can just see that it's foaming, I can see the oil also settling at the top. I'm just adding some whole tomatoes, baby plum tomatoes to it. Because the acidity in the tomato would allow more of the oils to be extracted, yes. It's optional. You can do without it. Not a problem. So then I'd allow it to cook further for another 25 minutes. Once that's done, what would happen is the foamy surface will then actually disappear. That's when you know it's ready. Allow your soup to completely cool down. And what will then happen is the oil will settle at the top. And this is the point that you can scoop the beauty that you've just done. Mm hmm at this point, I have sterilized my jar already. So I'm just using the strainer to strain any bits So because I just need the pure oil. Nothing more, nothing less. So I will repeat this process until, of course, I've extracted as much oil as I can. After extracting the oil from the concentrate, as you can tell, yes, I'm not going to throw that away because, of course, I've got a little secret to share with you guys, okay? Because that there, that concentrate there, is packed with full labors. And no, I'm not going to throw it away. I will portion it and freeze it and use it as and when a recipe requires, like now. So I've got a little full of my palm concentrate that is flavored, of course. And then to that, I'm adding my spiced palm oil, which is a zomi to it as well. Next thing is I'm just going to be boosting this with some more spices and flavors as one should. So I've got my Holy Grail All Purpose Blend, which also acts as an amazing rub for like robust meats such as goat meats, lamb, mutton. Yes, you could definitely try that guinea fowl, your best bet. I'm adding half a teaspoon of that beauty and aromatic spice to it. <music> And the next spice blend I'll be using will be the Rose Harissa, yes, which is, of course, available on buyindudu.com. Now, that's going to add that, you know, spicy floral flavor to the dish, exactly. So here we go, I'm just going to add that and mix everything together until it's well combined. Now, I will gently fry this um, for about seven to eight minutes however there is a trick to it because you don't really want to burn this yes so you're infusing the flavors 
Now, I don't know if you remember back in the day when you go buy your beans, you know, when they made the oil, the bottom part, you know, that's where the flavor is, exactly what we're mimicking here. So once that firm part settles, because, of course, we're using the concentrate, once it settles and it looks clear like this, you know it's done. And that's the color you're looking for. You don't want this to cook any further. If not, it will burn. No, you don't want that. And yes, my sterilized jar um, is a point that it can take heat up to about 100 degrees, so it's fine. And I'm just transferring that beauty in there. But you notice that the bay leaf also went in there. That's optional, by the way. But yeah, that is it. So if you have the plain one there, yes, but that's also still spicy. But then we've got the zumi here with the spicy bottom parts of the zumi. So this is so easy for you to make at home. If you want to grab any of the spices, yes, they are readily available on buyindudu.com. And if you do like what you see, please don't forget to leave your comments below with your feedback and also questions. Share with family and friends. Absolutely like the video. And here we've got the beauty. Look at that. Now, I can't wait to have my beans or my bambara beans and, you know, just like, you know, put a little bit over it. That's just going to be incredible. Equally, I've got other exciting recipes that I'm going to be using this. Yes, for. So do stay tuned. If you do like what you see so far and you like the language that I do speak when it comes to food, yes, please don't forget to click the subscribe button whilst you're here and activate your notifications to also you don't miss any future videos. As mentioned, you can get all my spices and seasonings on natural blends anyway on buyindudu.com and you'd also find traditional African recipes on indudu by blogspot.com so do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as Indudu by Fafa so pass by and say hi. Neral, thank you very much for my theme song and until my next recipe with you kings and queens of beautiful people. Thank you very much for watching and gracing me with your presence. Much appreciated. Have an amazing day. Toodles.